back boys and girls and welcome to Growing Guitar. We have Brandon Lake here, I believe for the first time here with this lovely song called Code of Many Colors. So um, this is a pretty straightforward song here. It goes pretty much in the same way through the entire song with different rhythms, um, switching up there in the middle, but anyway, nice song with easy chords. Yeah, about the easy chords, they're easy with the capo set on the second fret. That's the best scenario for us. So let's start with that capo on second. And we have four different chords to handle here. The first one is the F major seven. So that is third on D, second on G, first B and open E. Next chord is the C. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B and open E. A minor, and that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. And the final chord is the G. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. All right, so the first half, so to speak, from the beginning till about 2 minutes and 35 seconds, is about um, yeah pretty much one chord progression here um, but first we're gonna learn the strumming for this part because it differs from the later part there so the first chord will be the f major let's grab that one first and then one strumming around will be down up down up up down up so play first down up down up and then a short pause and then comes up down up Again. So down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And a couple of rounds to get the feeling here for this rhythm. It goes. Yeah, so that's the strumming here. Like I said, uh, the verse play here will be F1, A minor 1, and G1. Okay, and then when you come to the chorus play, you play almost exact same, you just play F1, but instead of A minor, you play C1 and G2. So verse play is F1, A minor 1, G2, and chorus is F1, C1, and G2. So. Verse play. And chorus. All right. So it goes like that um, till about two minutes and 35 seconds into the song. Then it uh, completely changes here when it comes to the rhythm here. And the chords are pretty similar, we'll look at that uh, later, but first let's take a look at the strumming pattern. And here, uh, it's a one uh, strumming pattern that covers two chords, so it's a pretty long one, so we need to divide it into two different parts. So we'll look at the transition here for the first two chords, the F major to C, and these two chords, they cover one full strumming around, so to speak. So the first part is for F major, it will be down, down, down up. So, and then you switch to the next chord, in this case the C, and play part two, which is up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So it's up, up, down for two times, and then an extra up in the end there, so. So, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And that is a part two. So together, if we put it chord by chord there, F major to C will be that is one full round. Then you do and apply the same principle here for the next two chords. The A minor is playing the part one the same way as F major, the down, 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 up, and then you switch to G and play the part two. In the same way as C, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So the corporation will be F major, C, 
and then A minor and G, like this. You will play that for about one minute, uh, it's about uh, 3 minutes and 32 seconds into the song till that point and from that point from 3 32 till the very end you'll go back and play the course play which is the F major the C and the G and that is how Brennan Lake's code of many colors is handled on a guitar so I hope you enjoyed this and if you did please uh, give me a like on this tutorial and uh, perhaps subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet why not till next time guys Play tuned.